Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I have a fun video to share with you guys. Today's video is about all of the favorites that I used in 2018, starting with body care and then we're moving on to makeup so that we're there you get a good array of different products. I will have all the items listed below. I won't have them linked, but they will be listed. So I will try to see if I can figure out how to start linking products, but I'm, I've never done that before. So I'm gonna try to see if I can do that for you guys. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started with the body care. So the first body care product is a newer one. This is from Victoria's Secret. Victoria's Secret came out with some different types of lotions that smell really, really nice. And this one smells absolutely amazing. This is the Pink Cocoa Lotion Coconut Oil Hydrating Body Lotion. It smells so good. If you're more into like those beachy type of fragrances, you're going to love this because it's exactly what it smells like. It smells like you're at the beach. Love the way this smells. I love the way it feels on my skin. It just does a good job of hydrating my skin, but not so thick that it feels like it takes forever to rub it into your skin. So it's a great product to use, I would say, all throughout the year. Really do love this. I think they have these on sale every once in a while. These are normally like $16.50 a bottle, but I know when I purchased them on, they were like $6 a bottle, so it was a better deal. So definitely wait for some good deals. I think I got mine online, so the better deal was online because I know when I went in store, it was the normal price, but online it was cheaper. So definitely check both places to see which one has the better offer. So really do enjoy this though. The next thing is from Philosophy. Philosophy. That sounded funny how I said that. Philosophy. This is the Amazing Grace Satin Finish Body Oil Mist. This stuff smells exactly like the Amazing Grace perfume. So if you love that perfume, you're going to love this body oil. So it sinks in again very easily and it doesn't leave behind like an oily residue or anything because it sinks in so effortlessly into your skin. It gives your skin that extra boost of hydration, but it also smells so good on your skin. Your skin just smells almost like baby soft. So when you smell your skin, you just smell so fresh and clean. And of course your, your skin is so soft. I'm stuttering because I'm so excited about this. Your skin is so soft. Off, so I really do love this. Highly recommend that you guys try this. This is something that I haven't heard too many people talk about, but it's really, really nice. The next thing for body care is a sunscreen. So as you guys know, we should be using sunscreen all throughout the year, but I know for me specifically during like the summer months, I would love to use a good body one. And this one's a great body one. You can use this in the winter months as well, but I use this specifically more for like the summer, spring type of months where I'm exposing more skin. Like you're wearing short sleeves, you're wearing shorts or skirts or dresses or something like that. So this is the Hemp's Yuzu and Starfruit Daily Herbal Body Moisturizer. It's an SPF 30. So I really do like this because again, it sinks in very nicely. I did not burn when I used this. So as long as you're putting a good sunscreen on every day, SPF 30 and above is what I think they recommend that you use. So this was a good one for me and it smells absolutely amazing. It smells like a fruit drink. So it smells really good. It almost smells edible, but don't eat it because it's sunblock. So I don't recommend that part at least. The next thing for body lotion is this one right here. This is the Body Shop Banana one. You guys probably saw me buy a ton of these last year. I bought so many, it was crazy. Love the way this smells. This is a thicker type of lotion, but it still sinks in very easily. So it's not like the other ones where they're very thin consistency, not super thin, but they're thinner consistency versus this. This is more like you could like flip it upside down and it's not gonna go anywhere. It's a very thick lotion, but it smells so good on your skin. I don't recommend that you put this anywhere, like say around your neck or anything, because it can actually taste really bad or on your face fingers especially like because if you're going to be like eating after you use this on your body make sure you wash your hands because if you put this in your mouth it tastes horrendous it tastes almost like poison so don't put this in your mouth whatsoever because it tastes awful but it definitely smells so good on your body love that I also love the um, oh my gosh, what is the one? The Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom, but I cannot find mine. I know I have one. I'm thinking maybe I've just misplaced it or I've put it into one of my bags because it's one that I consistently use throughout the year is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. That one smells absolutely amazing. It smells like the beach. It's supposed to be like pistachio and something, but it just smells like the beach as well. So if you're more into those beachy type of fragrances, you're going to love that one as well. The next thing is, let's see, do I have any more body care products? I think that's it for body. So now we're gonna move on to more like skincare. So the neck for the first thing for skincare is like removing my makeup. This is so good. I discovered this this year and I was so amazed by how well this works. I don't typically like oils to remove my makeup because I feel like they can sometimes get in my eyes and it leaves almost like a milky like feeling onto your eyes where it feels like you have a 
I don't know, like a blur. This does not do that. This is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Botanical Cleansing Oil with squalene, evening primrose oil, and lavender essential oils for all skin types. This smells absolutely amazing. It removes all of my makeup. Literally, it's all just melted off. It looks like the Wicked Witch of the West when she gets into, what is it, water or something like that. So you're just melting it all off. It just works so, so well. Highly recommend this if you're looking for a good oil to remove your makeup. So this works amazing. The next thing for skincare for your skin is going to be my Peter Thomas Roth, Peter Thomas Ross, Roth, I can't even say it. This is the Therapeutic Sulfur Mask. This is an acne treatment mask. You can use this for spot treatment or you can use it for like a bigger type of treatment. I typically use it for spot treatment and it's a lot in here so you're not going to be able to go through it very quickly. This is five ounces. So there's five ounces in here so you've got a ton to use and it's a pretty thick consistency so it almost looks like clay. So when you put it on it just looks like clay onto your skin. But it does a good job of for spot, con like spot protect, not spot protect spot concealing spot not concealing oh my gosh spot treatment oh my gosh I can't even think today spot treatment so it's just a very thick mask that you can put it on to those different spots that you have acne at and because it has sulfur in it it's going to help to clear up that acne spot really well but because it does have sulfur in it you don't want to leave it onto your skin like in a large area for a large for a long amount of time because it will dry your skin out pretty bad so if you leave it in just for spot treatment it's perfect for those acne spots coat though because that's what you want to do for acne you want to dry that up so it's perfect for that the next thing is my different gel as you guys know i switched from a lot of the sunday riley products to different and i have not regretted it one bit this is the different gel this has adapalene gel zero point or yeah, 0.1% acne treatment. This used to be by prescription only, and then I don't know how long ago, but it was recently that they decided to make this over the counter, which was great for me because this works really, really well. This is one of the things that's helped to clear up most of my acne. I don't know if you guys can tell or not. My skin is still has some acne spots on it, but nothing like it used to because my skin was horrendous before, and now it's improved dramatically in my opinion. So, and I feel like this is the main reason why it's cleared up so much. Highly recommend this. It works really, really good especially for hormonal acne is what I had. I had a lot of hormonal and cyst cystic acne. So that's what it worked really well for me. The next thing is the rock. These are the daily resurfacing discs. I love these because these are perfect to cleanse your skin at nighttime if you want to give your skin that bit of exfoliation as well as while you're cleaning it. So these have a like a more I'll show you. They have, they're like two sided. So they're really cool. So one side is more textured like I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell it or not but one side is more textured and the other side is just like soft like pillowy so the side that's more textured is going to help to exfoliate your skin and get all those dead skin skin cells off and then it's going to help to get underneath that so that way there you can improve your skin will start to heal and improve it and look better each time that you do it this is something that I don't use this daily even though they say they're daily resurfacing discs. I typically use them three to four times a week which is plenty for my skin and my skin is very dry so I don't want to over exfoliate because I know that can really be bad as well. But these just work really well and then you can cut those in half so you can get double the amount in here. So you get 28 you can cut it and double that. So these are sold at Ulta so highly recommend these if you're looking for something to give your skin that boost of exfoliation. As well as the other side they have like a cleansing so they will soap up a little bit and clean your skin really nice so highly recommend these the next thing is a vitamin C or serum so this one here is one that I was recommended and I love it this is the mad hippie vitamin C serum with cognac root and ferulic and hyaluronic acid so here's what it looks like it's just a little bottle but these can be purchased at Ulta I think that Ulta is the only you no know, Amazon sells it too so you can purchase at Ulta I trust Ulta more than I do Ulta, uh, Amazon because Amazon sometimes you're not sure that you're getting the proper ingredients in your bottle so I always trust Ulta but this is really really good for brightening your skin vitamin C does a good job for brightening your skin up so that if you had acne scarring going on it's gonna help to brighten those dark spots so if you're looking for something like that highly recommend this one it works just as good as good as any of the other more expensive ones that I've tried personally so really do like that then for hydration, since I did mention that my skin is very, very dry, I love the Belief Moisture Balm. This works really, really well for dry skin. If your skin is severely dry like mine is, give your skin some of this and I promise you, your skin will thank you because your skin will, you'll wake up and literally your skin the next day feels like you've got that extra hydration that it needed. Your skin feels softer, it feels more supple. So really do like this. I know a lot of people talk about the Moisture Balm or no, 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 the... 
Aqua Balm. Aqua Balm is made for more people that have oily skin. Moisture Balm is made for people that have dry skin. So this one here is the Moisture Balm. So this is made for dry skin. So I love this though. And it doesn't have any scents to it. So that's perfect as well. The next thing is this right here. This is a sunscreen for your face. This is the Ulta Beauty Broad Spectrum SPF 50 sunscreen. It's a rose water setting spray, so you can use this under makeup, over makeup, however you choose to do it. So like right now, I can just go ahead and it has a little shaker in there as well, so it's gonna help to shake all the product mixed up together really well. And you can just, oh, it smells so good. It reminds me of the beach. Now, every time I use this, it reminds me of being at the beach. So I love this. It's almost got like a minty, almost feeling and not really feeling but like i don't know smell to it and but you can smell sunscreen as well so it's got the minty sunscreen it just smells very fresh so if you love things like this instead of using a powder sunscreen because you should be putting sunscreen on throughout the day not just putting it on in the morning saying ah, i did it no you need to continuously apply sunscreen so this is something that you can keep with you and you can apply the sunscreen very easily and it's ulta beauty brand so it's not that expensive you can get these like buy one get one free so definitely recommend it the next thing is the Shiseido. So these are the Shiseido facial cottons. Oh my gosh, guys. These are so good. They do not leave behind any sort of lint or anything like that. Okay, guys. So we're back to the Shiseido. I had to pause you guys for a second. So these are the Shiseido facial cottons. These are so good, like I was saying, because they don't leave behind any kind of lint residue or anything like that on your skin. They're so soft when you use them. They just feel very, very good on your skin. They're not like hard or anything. I've had some cotton pads that literally feel like I'm rubbing, I don't know, like the really cheap paper towels. It feels like you're rubbing those on your skin and it just does not feel good. These are very, very soft. They remind me of like when you buy them, like the package reminds me of like a baby's diaper. So they're super, super soft. Highly recommend these. These are $10. So they're a little bit ten dollars so ten dollars for these i can't remember but i typically purchase them during at like the 20 percent off sales because i know ulta and sephora both carry these now so that is helpful because whenever they have a sale you can use your coupons towards these so those are the body care products and skincare products that i recommend now we're moving more into makeup the first item is kind of skincare and makeup so that's why we're going to start this one out first this is the tiger grass by dr jart this is the color correcting treatment so here's what it looks like it's just a little green jar here I love this stuff it's green colored and what it does is you put this on before you put your makeup on and if you have any kind of redness going on to your skin it immediately disappears it is so amazing how this works I really love this I have not purchased the full size yet and I need to because I am just about out of my small little sample size here I don't even know how many ounces the small little sample size is 0.33 ounces so it lasts you a very long time so if you purchase the full size it's going to last you a long time because I have had this one for months and I've not used it up completely up yet so really do love this though for getting rid of redness onto your skin the next thing is a primer. My favorite primer for the year is this one right here. I don't know if I grabbed the little disc for it. I don't think I did. Good job, Tiff. <clears throat> this is the Tatcha, the Silk Canvas. Oh my gosh, guys. I love the way this looks on my skin. If your skin is dehydrated and you're worried about using something that's supposed to help with pores, worry no more because this works really well with dry skin. So what you do with this is you'll take the little disc that it comes with, I forgot to pull it out, but it's a little round disc and you're gonna take that and take it to the lawn level and then you're gonna use that amount and start putting that onto your skin. You're going to rub it in a downwards motion, do it very small places at a time so that way there you get it all put in. And then after you've got it on, you put your makeup over top of this and I promise you, your skin not only looks and feels hydrated, but it helps to diminish the look of pores. It's, it's amazing highly recommend that the next thing is I'm going in kind of like the order of how I do my makeup I know everybody does their makeup a little bit different the next thing I typically do is brows so I have three brow products that I want to talk to you guys about so the first one is the NYX micro brow this one here and the Anastasia brow Wiz, in my opinion are the same exact thing I don't feel like there's much of a difference if there is any difference I think if you took the labels off of these and you handed me both of these in the same color I would never be able to tell you the difference because the only difference I have ever seen honestly not even the spoolie. The spoolies are even the same. I mean, the spoolies look very identical. Look at the spoolies. They did a good job of making the spoolies look and feel the same. The tips are very similar as well. So here's both of the tips. The tips look very similar. So I think if you're looking for the brow whiz and you're looking for something that's very similar to that because you don't want to spend the price on the brow whiz, definitely check out the NYX Micro Brow because it works so, so good. Highly recommend it. Oops, I think I'm putting one of the ends on wrong here. What am I doing wrong? Something's not right. 
oh who knows what I'm doing wrong oh there we go either way I really do recommend either one of these I think if you can get like Ulta I know has sales on the Anastasia Brow Wiz quite often during like their semi-annual sales they have like a sale in the fall and a sale in the spring and usually the Brow Wiz is one of the products they sell that's on sale like half off if you can get it half off I would recommend that if you can't get the NYX micro brow NYX micro brow because it's really really good so the other thing that I recommend that I know a lot of people were not liking this year is the Kat Von D. This is the Super Brow. I have mine in taupe. I really like this. I know a lot of people were saying that it kind of just goes on and smears out or whatever. I had never had an issue with this whatsoever. You can tell that I really use a lot of this so it wasn't like I'm just like, oh yeah, this is good after trying it one time. Nope. I use it a ton and never had an issue. Just go in and do light strokes with your little brow brush and you're going to have no problems whatsoever. It stays put. It doesn't go anywhere. It just looks beautiful in your brows. Highly recommend it if you haven't tried it. So it's very, very good. The next thing, now that we've done that, we're going to move on to foundation. We probably would have done foundation first, but this is the Too Faced Born This Way. This is the undetectable medium to full coverage foundation. This is one of my favorite Holy Grail foundations because it works so well with my dry skin. So if you're worried or you're trying to find something that works really well with dry skin, between this and the next one I'm going to show you, those are the perfect ones, in my opinion, for dry skin that I've tried. This is the one that I love, though. I have never had an issue with this whatsoever. I've had... I've used this on like my most driest days whatsoever and then I've used this on days where my skin is just kind of normal so I think a normal to dry skin can definitely use this so highly recommend it the next thing is the NARS this is the NARS sheer glow oh my gosh guys it says sheer glow but it's not sheer it's got a really good coverage to it so if you're looking for a really good coverage foundation and yet it still makes your skin look nice and glowy highly recommend this one as well it works so so good i know both of these are a little bit more expensive i'll try to find some more drugstore type of dupes for you guys so maybe i can do that dupes for the high-end products that i loved in 2018 or something like that so this is a really really good product though as well the next thing is the beauty sponge that i love this year you guys know i love the beauty blender but i also do love the real techniques the real techniques works just as well in my opinion as long as you get it wet and you've taken most of the water out I've had never had an issue with it the only issue I've ever had is that they do seem to kind of run I run through them a little bit faster than I do a beauty blender but nothing that's like oh my gosh I run through that in a day and then I run through the beauty blender in a month no it's nothing like that it just might be maybe maybe two weeks sooner or something like that but nothing crazy really do recommend these and they're much more affordable than a beauty blender so highly recommend you check those out the next thing is my eye base because I love a base for my eye like eyeshadows. They're going to help to conceal any kind of discoloration that I have going on. MAC Painterly Paint Pot. So you can get the Painterly Paint Pot or you can get the, what is the other one? MAC Paint, MAC Okra, Ochre? I don't know. I know there's different shades that you can get, but the Painterly is the one that I ended up choosing. Painterly has more of like a pink tone to it and I'm not sure exactly how it works for me because I don't really have a pink tone for my skin. My skin's more yellow, but it works. So highly recommend that you check this out if you're looking some, for something to kind of dis cover discoloration on your lids and stuff like that. It works so, so well. So highly recommend this. And this lasts forever. Like I've had this probably and I probably should toss it honestly because it's been a while I think I've had this for like three years and it's not going bad or anything it's still very soft it's still malle malleable so that I can use this on my eyelids I love it the next thing is my favorite eyeshadow palettes because I have two eyeshadow palettes that I want to talk to you guys about I have a drugstore shadow palette and then a high-end eyeshadow palette so the drugstore one is this one right here which is one that actually surprised me how much I enjoyed this this is the NYX swear by it palette it's quite pricey though for drugstore I'm like it's like $35 so for drugstore I'm like you are really getting up in there NYX so here's what it looks like I really like the colors in here I think the colors are beautiful you've got an array of all different things that you could possibly use you've got some cooler tones you've got some warmer tones you've got some neutrals I just and you've got pops of color in here it's got everything you could possibly need in my opinion I think it's a really really good palette I would wait for NYX to have a good sale pick this up because it's really good I did not have any problems with any of the shadows that I tried in here it worked amazing for me so highly recommend this one the next one is my high-end palette <clears throat> so 
I try lots of palettes. You probably, you guys probably know, I try lots of palettes. That's one of the things that I am obsessed with is trying out different palettes. This one here, as soon as I tried it, it changed my mind about all the other products in the brand. If you've been with my channel for a little while, you probably know exactly which one I'm talking about. So I had to go back and purchase things that I had previously gotten rid of because I was like, whoa, I love this so much. This is the Dose of Colors Friendcation Palette. This palette surprised me so much. It is so, so good. Here's what it looks like in the palette itself. It is actually so, so pretty. I love this blue over here. The blue is gorgeous. I love all the colors in here. The colors are absolutely amazing. I did not have a problem with any of these in here whatsoever. Everything in here worked so good for me. I did not have a problem with anything. This one here is more like a purpley blue. So it's more like when you put it on, let me show you. So it's like one of those shades. It's like a, is that like a duochrome? So it looks purple and then it looks blue. So I don't know if you can tell or not, but it looks purple and then it looks blue. It's just one of those shifters. So it's absolutely gorgeous though. So I love this palette. I have recommended this palette to so many people so far because it's just that good. It's that good. Like I don't have a problem with any of these shadows. This is one palette that I feel like I can pick up and create a look with and never have an issue. So highly recommend it. Now we're moving on to a single shadow. So one single shadow that I loved throughout the year is the Wet n Wild and Creme Brulee. If you have a palette that you're like, oh gosh, I don't have a palette. I mean, I don't have a shadow to lay down as a base. Grab this. This little puppy has saved me so many times because I have gotten palettes before that I'm like, there's no base shade in here. So then I'll pull this out and this always saves the day and it's like 99 cents, guys. This is something that I will always have in my collection. Hopefully they'll continue to sell it because if I run out of this and they don't have it anymore, I'm going to be a little sad because I tried finding something that's very similar to this, but I haven't found a dupe yet. So looking for a high-end dupe or a more affordable dupe, which I mean, this is affordable already, but like looking for something that's similar to this. So if you guys have something that's similar, let me know. The next thing is the concealer. So you guys probably, if you've been with my channel for a while, there's only one concealer that I absolutely love. I've tried a ton of concealers. I have two whole caddies full of concealers that I've tried. This one here is my favorite. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless, Com Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. So here's what it looks like. It's in this glass, it's not glass, it's plastic. It's in this little plastic tube here. This works so well, but it, for me, I think the reason why I like it so much is because I don't have extreme dark circles. So I think if you have really dark circles, I'm not sure how good this is going to work because they say it's full coverage. I don't think it's full coverage. I would say it's like medium-ish, like medium to almost full coverage. It's definitely not full coverage, but it does a great job of concealing under my eyes. Not only that, I feel like it's hydrating enough so that it doesn't look creasy under my eyes, but it's not overly hydrating to where it just kind of like gums together a little bit. Have you ever had a concealer that's so hydrating that you're like, oh my gosh, it's so tacky. It won't go away. I've had concealers that are like that and they're not good at all. This one does not do that. It's like that perfect mix of everything. So it's like the Goldilocks, in my opinion, of the concealer. So it works so good. Highly recommend. Now we have two. I have two mascaras this year. I think one got knocked out that I would typically love, but it's not to say that I won't go back to loving it because I have changed my mind about mascaras before. So the first one is the Stila Huge Extreme. If you've been with my channel for a while, you probably have seen me use this a lot, but it's because it's a very, very good mascara. It works so well for me. It gives me length. It gives me volume. It doesn't flake off or anything like that. So I do love this mascara. If you haven't tried it, totally recommend checking it out. The next one is the Wonder Beauty. This one came in subscription boxes this year, so I was so happy to try it, and then it seemed like it started coming in subscription boxes again, and I'm like, yeah, I'll take more of them because it's really good. This is a volume and curl mascara. This one definitely pushes your lashes up and gives you that volume that you need, so I really love this. I think it's absolutely amazing. Are we not recording? <laughs> Sorry guys, I didn't know if we were recording so first I got a different camera now that doesn't have a screen to show me if I'm recording or not so I have to watch a different screen so I'm like am I still recording or not so anyway sorry. This is the again the Unlash Mascara. This just works really well. If you got it in your subscription boxes and you weren't sure about trying it definitely pull it out and try it because it's really good. Really really good. The next thing are some eyeliners. So there are three, well, one type of eyeliner that I like that was not a liquid liner. And then I have one liquid liner. So the non-liquid liners are the Urban Decay. These are the 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencils. 
I love these. These work so well for me. I have three different shades right here. We have, what do we have? The teal or the brownish colored one is Midnight Cowboy. Then we have Perversion and we have Rockstar. So Midnight Cowboy is the more tan color. This one is Perversion, which is the black one. And then Rockstar is the more like um, plum shade. So if you like something like this for your eyes that is not going to move or anything like that, highly recommend these. These are very, very good. You can get a lot of these sets like this during like the holidays for a better deal. So wait for sets, in my opinion, wait for deals and sets and things like that because that's where you're going to get your biggest bang for your buck. The next and last thing for the liners is this one right here. This is the Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner. This one works really, really well. To me, it's very comparable to the Kat Von D. It's got more of like, it's like an in-between. It's not a, um, it's not a brush type of applicator and it's not a, um, what is the other one called? I have no idea what the other, it's not a brush and it's not a, either way. It's a really good liner. I'll show you what it looks like. It's very pointy, so it's going to be precise for you, and yet it doesn't skip because I know I've had some liners that I have creasy lids, so it's hard to get into those little crooks and, or nooks and crannies. So this just works really, really well for me, and it's drugstore, so I appreciate that because you go through liners pretty quickly. So now we're moving on to highlighters. So we have two highlighters to share with you guys. So the first one is something they brought back this year, which was really exciting. This is the Anastasia Amrezy highlighter, and this is just the Amrezy highlighter. So there's no other shade than just Amrezy. So here's what it looks like. It is a beautiful, beautiful shade. I'll swatch it for you guys. It is absolutely amazing. This, the reason why they brought this back is because everybody fell in love with it and then they were disappointed if they couldn't get their hands on it. So it's just really, really good. So if you love this highlighter and you were trying to get your hands on it, I believe it's still in stock. So try to grab it for yourself because it works really, really well. I'm going to try to get that pencil pen off before it sets on my hand so I can show you guys more swatches of stuff. Okay, we got it off as good as we can for now. But this is a very good highlighter and it's so smooth. It doesn't show texture. That's one of the things that's really important to me because I do have a lot of texture on my skin from acne and things like that. So it doesn't show texture. Really, really nice. The next one is from Urban Decay. This is the Urban Decay Afterglow. I love these colors in here. Look at these colors, guys. They're so pretty. I'll swatch each one for you. We've got in the top up here, we've got ONS. We've got Cliché. We've got Wicked and we've got No Angel. So all of these are absolutely beautiful. This one's a little dark for me, but I can still use it. So I just swatched these all wrong, guys. Yeah, they're not going to be in order, but you'll get to see exactly what the palette looks like. So here they are swatched. They are absolutely amazing. Do highly recommend this palette right here. I don't know if they still sell it or not, but I know they sell the individual different highlighters from Urban Decay. So if you can't get a hold of just this palette itself, you can get individual highlighters from Urban Decay and they're very nice. Again, they don't show texture. They're very smooth. Really, really love this. The next thing is a bronzer. There's one Holy Girl bronzer for me and it's been the Holy Girl bronzer for me for a while now. And I'm sure it's probably for you guys too, maybe. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Mine still smells like vacation. It smells absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh. It is just a perfect bronzer and I know now they've come out with different shades. So if you need a deeper shade, they've come out with deeper shades, which is great because at first they only had, I think like one or two shades, which was just kind of disappointing. But now that they've gotten more, I feel like that's a better range for people to actually try it out. So I love this little palette, a little pocket highlight pocket cuts. Oh my gosh. Tongue tied. I love this bronzer. It works really well. It does come with a little brush underneath here. So mm. If you pick it up, there's a little sponge. It's not a brush, it's a sponge. You can use that if you choose to. I don't usually use that, but it does come with that just in case you need it. The next thing is my blush. So I had two blushes. One is a palette and one is a single. So the palette that I loved the most this year is this one right here. This is the NARS Narcissist. This is the Wanted 2 Cheek Palette. They had different shades of this. I chose the brighter shade just because I like bright shades because you can always go in with a lighter hand or you can go with a heavier hand. I feel like if you get a darker palette like this, it's a little more versatile. So in my opinion, 
So for me, I just go in with a lighter hand when my skin is more fair like it is right now. Or in the summer months, I can go in a little, a little bit more heavy handed. I love all the colors in here as well. These are really, really nice. They're nicely pigmented. They don't go off my skin. My skin doesn't decide to eat them up because I know my cheeks tend to eat up, cheek, eat up blush products sometimes and these do not do that. So love this. Love, love, love. The next thing is more of like a neutral type of color. So this is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude. Everybody told me to try these Gen Nude blushes and I was like, I had never even heard of them. So finally one day I picked up this one and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Look how pretty this color is. That color is absolutely gorgeous. It's one of those like almost like a natural flush to your cheeks. So it's like one of those where it just looks so, so natural on your cheeks that it looks like you just come in from the cold or something like that. It's beautiful. These last on your cheeks as well. They don't emphasize any kind of um, texture onto your skin as well. So if you're concerned about that, they do not do that. These are very, very nice. As far as setting powders, I have two setting powders, one for under the eyes and one for the face. For under the eyes, you guys, the Becca, this is the, I don't even know what it's called, and I use this so much. This is the under eye brightening setting powder. Oh my gosh. All I do when I use this, I take my finger, take my ring finger actually, and I tap down into it, and then I tap my finger around onto my eye, and that kind of sets it, and then it's not putting on too much powder. It just works so, so well, and it definitely gives your under eye a brightness that you were looking for, because I know sometimes not even your concealer can help to brighten you up. This does. Works so, so well. Highly recommend that. The other one for my face is this one right here. This is the Too Faced Sweet Peach, or Peach Perfect uh, Powder. I was a little worried, because I know a lot of people that were loving this had more normal to like oily skin. I have dry skin, so I was like, oh, it's probably not gonna work for me. But for my dry skin, it works really well. It's got this really handy dandy little closure here so you don't make a mess. I love it. It smells like peaches, so if you love the smell of peaches, it tastes like candy too. So like if that powder goes up into your face and you taste it a little bit, it's very sweet. So it's a little bit weird, but it's really cool. So I really love that. Now, as far as setting sprays, I have two setting sprays. My first one is the MAC Prep and Prime. This is the Fix Plus. I love this one basically for hydration. So if my skin is feeling extra, extra dry, this is great to give me that extra boost of hydration. It also does a good job for like kind of melting your makeup into your skin. So if your skin looks a little bit like, oh my gosh, you can see all the layers of makeup you have on your skin, it will help to melt that all into your skin, which is really important so that you don't look like you just packed the makeup on. The one that you want to wear if you're looking for your makeup to last all day into the night, if you're having a party or you're doing whatever, is the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is the old bottle, but oh my gosh, it doesn't matter. Old, new bottle. It works the same. It's so, so good. It definitely prolongs the wear of your makeup. I have never had an issue with this. It smells, I think all setting sprays smell a little bit off, but you're only spraying it as soon as you put that onto your skin, the smell kind of dissipates. So it's not like it's staying there, but I love the way this works. So if you, again, are looking for hydration, I recommend the MAC. If you're looking for longevity, Urban Decay. Both of them are absolutely amazing. As far as lip products, me, is, I'm somebody who I don't really love a whole lot of lip products. So when I started pulling lip products, I'm like, how did you get so many that you loved? That's weird. I ended up with five. I can't believe it. So the first one is this one right here. This is the one that is in my name. And I think this is why basically I love this. Not only that, it's really pretty. This is the Buxom Full On Lip Polish. I've had this for a little while now, but I don't care. I'm not getting rid of it because it's beautiful. It doesn't smell bad or anything. It's like a reddish color. This works really well for me like in the winter months because it's like a beautiful, almost like a lip topper. It's not really a lipstick or anything. So it goes on with a little bit of color here, but nothing bold and bright. It has a little bit of that mintiness to it that's going to help to plump your lips just a little bit. Nothing crazy like the Too Faced Lip Injection. It's not like that. But this one is in my name. And I think if you can find a lip product in your name, I think that's just going to make you really happy. So if you're looking for your name in a lip product, check, bu check Buxom because they have so many products they've named after Lady. So I love that. The next thing is this one right here. And Jessica Baron got me started on this. This is the Dose of Colors. And this is Messy Bun. Oh my gosh. When she talked about it in one of her videos, I was like, is it that good? Because I trust her opinion on everything. And I'm like, if she's raving about it that much, it must be pretty good. She's right. It's very, very good. It's like a lip. I don't think it's a lipstick. It's like a lip gloss, I think. It doesn't even say on here, to be honest with you. So I have no idea. But I know it has a little bit of pigmentation to it. And it just looks so beautiful on the lips. It's so easy to wear. It's hydrating. It's not drying whatsoever like most of the lip liquid lipsticks that we're all getting sick of. This is just so, so good. And the color Messy Bun, 
beautiful. Look at that shade. Oh my gosh. It is absolutely amazing. It's a little sticky. So if you're concerned about like going outside and getting your hair caught into your lips, both of those are pretty. They're not super sticky, but they're a little sticky. The next one is the Fenty Beauty. This is the Fenty Beauty Lip. What is this one even called either? I don't even know what this one's called. I'm sure it says on here. It's the Fenty Gloss Balm or something like that. I know she's come out with different shades. This is so, so good. This one here is a lip product that I've seen so many people wear and it looks beautiful on everybody just because it's got a light, light tint of color and it just can look beautiful in every lip shade, every lip color. It's beautiful. I love this and it's not super sticky. It's just that perfect amount where it's going to give your lips that little bit of tackiness but nothing like any of the other ones I've ever tried. It's just spectacular. So I want to try some of the other ones she's come out with and these are only like 18 bucks for high-end brand. That's not bad in my opinion. The next one that I loved is this one right here and this is the Lancome. This is the Matte Shaker. So I never thought I would have loved a Matte Shaker because I was like no way. I like the Juicy Shakers. No, no, no. The Matte Shakers are better. The mesh shakers do not feel matte at, at all on your lips. They have that pigmentation that you need and they're so soft. These little tips to this is so soft and spongy and it smells absolutely amazing. I love the matte shakers from the Lancome Juicy Shakers. These are so, so good. Oh my gosh. And I love that it looks like a little martini. It's just really cute. So I love that shade too. I think I'm like very consistent with the shades I like because all my shades are kind of like in the same range and then the last one is this one right here this is the lipstick queen frog prince hmm this one here makes me so happy first of all my husband and I we have like a little frog theme going on in our relationship so as soon as I saw that it said frog prince I had to have it it is a green lipstick but it transforms it's like one of those lip transformers let me put it down so I don't want to break it but it's one of those transformers so when I put this on here you're not going to see much and then it starts to transform you're going to see that it turns into more of a pinky shade some people say it's like a mood lipstick but I disagree I think it just I think it's a consistent pink basically because every person I've ever seen try this on it basically looks the same your lip color might look a little bit different but it's going to look basically the same so that's about the color it looks it's a very nudie pink but it's just so cute because first of all it's frog prints I love the contain the packaging to it I love that it just it's like a lip changer so it's that green shade and then turns pink it's just really cute so if you're looking for almost a cutesy type of product that you pull out of your purse and people are gonna be like whoa why is she putting green lipstick on and so it's just it's just really cute it's a very cutesy type of thing now as far as brushes go I have a couple brushes that I want to talk to you guys about so oh my gosh I'm gonna start them all so I have two bigger brushes that I loved this year and then I have some smaller eyeshadow brushes so the two bigger brushes that I love this year oops I just dropped one all right hang on goodness the two bigger brushes I've loved is this one right here from Bessemer Cosmetics this is their blush brush it is so soft it is so beautiful I love the brush handle to it I love everything about this brush it just washes up really well mine's a little crooked right now because it was laying in a bag but it just washes up really really well it holds the blush perfectly so it gives you that perfect pigmentation I love this brush then for powder brush as far as like if I want to put powder all over my face I love the Sigma large powder brush this is the F20 brush I think this is a great brush for putting powder all over especially if I'm using the Too Faced Sweet Peach one. Oh my gosh it works so so good so that one is my favorite big brush now as far as eyeshadow brushes these are my favorite five if I could make a set these would always be in it so the first one is my whale. This is the Sperm Whale by Glamour Doll Eyes. So this is just called the Sperm Whale Brush. And there's what it looks like. It's nothing real fancy or anything, but it just works really, really well for, as far as helping to like blend shades and stuff out. And it's more uh, smaller, so it's going to help to kind of deposit color as well. Highly recommend this brush. The next one is this one right here. This is the Luxie Small Tapered Blending Brush. This is the 231. This one is almost similar to the one I just showed you, the whale tail one, or the whale sperm whale one. <laughs> I don't know why I call it whale tail. But they're very similar, but this one's just a little bit more long, elongated, the brush handle is, or the brushes are. So this one just works a little bit better for like blending out. The next one, is, if you want to get a good blend, is this one right here. This is the Morphe M441 brush. I love this brush for blending out as well. It does a great job for giving your eyeshadow that kind of blown out look. So it's beautiful and it works really well. I've had some problems with some of the Morphe brushes where they do shed quite a bit. So just be careful of that. 
The one that I would use for eyeliner, or not eyeliner, for brows is the Kat Von D. Kat Von D came out with this brow brush and it's so good. This is called the 70 brush. It looks just like this. It is so, so good though for depositing your uh, eye product for your brow product. <laughs> so it works really, really well, especially with the Kat Von D Super Brow. It just works absolutely amazing with that. The only thing I wish she would have done was put a spoolie on the end. Other than that, it's just a really good brush. And then one that I talked about a lot this year, this is the Rubber Brush by Sephora. So this is what it looks like. It's just a little, at the tip here, it's like a rubber base, I guess. So basically, if you're looking to pick up some more shimmery shadows, that's what this does. It picks them right up, deposits them right onto your eyelid. So they're perfect for, if you're having an issue with working with a palette, they just help out so, so much. So those are all the products that I loved this past year. I know it was a lot, I'm sorry. But I wanted to share them all with you guys because I feel like if I tell you everything that I love, maybe it'll give you some ideas or maybe you can give me some ideas of things that maybe I could try out because you kind of have an idea of things that I do enjoy. Maybe you can give me some ideas of things that I could try out as well. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.